so an apologetic is a defense against something. Um, it, it's not just sort of a, is it true? But is it trustworthy? When it comes to some things, we need to prove that, that they are true and trustworthy uh, because other people would attack them. Is the Bible actually the word of God? But when it comes to some things, the, the loudest voice that, that would attack the, the truth and, and the trustworthiness of a thing sometimes is ourself. Uh, we're going to spend some time walking through, well, the Lord's Prayer because prayer is one of those places where the, the loudest voices that this isn't trustworthy, that God isn't trustworthy, get to be uh, almost overpowering and, and despair can take over. So a defense against despair when it comes to praying the seven petitions of the Lord's Prayer. Uh, Our Father who art in heaven. And with this one, uh, we have a defense against the despair that prayer is only marked by wins and losses, by did you get the thing that you asked for? Or how could you get the thing that you asked for? What do you need to do? How many people do you need to get to pray? How much do you really need to mean it in order to get the thing that you want or honestly kind of need? And when prayer becomes only about getting stuff instead of about comfort, then at the end of the day, uh, not only is God sort of reduced into a vending machine, uh, but he's kind of a bad one. Like he's a broken vending machine because sometimes you put your quarter in, you pray and you pray and you pray, you get everybody else to pray with you and you still don't get the thing that you ask for. And so our Lord would teach us to pray as a defense against despair. Our Father who art in heaven. Before anything else gets marked, before wins or losses, even before the thing that we need, we are to remember who our God is. You have a Father in heaven who actually loves you, who invites you to pray as dear children ask their dear Father. And that's the sort of the, the thing that, that we can lean on in the midst of, of times of fear and, and, and uncertainty, uh, in times of worry because we're not getting the things that we know that we need. We have a Father in heaven who loves us. And sometimes as kids, we don't actually know what we need. And me as a parent, I don't stop being a parent to my children if I say no to them. In fact, that's that's sort of the mark of being a parent is sometimes you actually say no to your kids, not other people's kids, because they're not your problem. You say no sometimes actually to love them and, and care for them. Before we go to God uh, to, to get a thing, like a vending machine, we go to a Heavenly Father who loves us enough not only to care for us, but to care for us. Sometimes he will care for us in giving us the things that we ask for, and sometimes he will care for us in saying no. And that's never an easy thing to swallow. And so the thing that we base our prayer off of isn't the need or how to get or, or what to, to pay to, to receive, but identity. We are God's children. He is our Heavenly Father. And as a defense against despair, we remember that God loves us, takes care of his kids. And so we'll mark what we get or don't get is those things that he knows are good for us.